place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort, and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassar reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Greetings everyone, my name is SRG21 and this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Patient X. I'll just That's pick up nothing, this. Adam, um, just with data pads like this, I'll just pick them up, really um, pause on them for a few seconds, and move on. And if you want to read them, you can just pause the video and read them. I think that'll work for everyone. If you don't like that, you can just watch for it. It'll only be a couple of seconds. Um, this is Doctor Reed's office, and we're just about to start the game. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David She has another number of things in the office we're gonna look at. Are you coming? Uh, in a second. I'm going to try and be quiet as much as I can during speaking parts, but obviously I can't wow. get to more. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. Hmm, I wonder what's You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Again, I'm just going to look through these, um, pause them for a few seconds so you can read them if you want to. Hey! Stop reading my email! On. Silence woman, I'm head of security. I can read you whatever emails I want. You still have this. From our first date. It was a spur of the moment purchase. A joke. Well, it worked. Because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. Warning. 
This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading that confirms my theory. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. Ooh, cappuccino. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. Uh, you're doing good. Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the typhoon uses what a modified combat chassis game? like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved cool, its man. design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. One knows. Impressive. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing teacher the, the point. Teacher in the Bronx. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. What if you get an augmented penis? That makes sex excellent. Ten times faster. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. He has a really cool jacket. I want it. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yes, awesome. You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Like I plugged your mama? You want to know how? Oh, wait. I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT. And you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. I saw to shoot him. How wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the That's a really Davis. cool office. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. 
All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. That can't all be good. lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Aye, aye, Captain. I think they get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Oh. Four, five, one. Down we go. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro chem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Why would she be running? Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jetson. Hurry! Richard. That's strange. Richard. Hmm. Is that sound like gunfire? Oh, it doesn't sound. You okay? Obviously not. Hmm. Dead people. Something's got to go wrong. Why is that bit on fire? Don't worry, dude, I'm here. Oh, hell. The fuck? Ooh! I will save you. Oh, yeah, bulletproof glass. Move the box. Aha. Crawling through a vent. Evil men. Fall back. Wow, I just put a credit card in my gun. Ladies and gentlemen, the ammo credit card. Obviously he didn't agree. That's just so cool. You cannot deny it. Seems we're being attacked. You know this one? Dead people. Bad sign. Oh shit, why are you running away? Where'd she go? Hit, why are you kidding him? What a bitch. Oh, now the door open. More explosions. What do people want? Ooh. Yeah. Go away. I see the barrel of my gun is heating up. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eat that. Let's go in this room. Oh, snap. That's not good.
Enter the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. Okay, Dickie, boss. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Second floor. Got ya. My God. Mr. Jensen. I, I didn't think you'd. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Now I'm good. I'll find my way. If you this say is my so. fourth playthrough, it's, by the way. So it's I good to have you back, sir. About the game. So basically, we have been augmented, which is have robot parts stuck in us. What are you talking about? Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last SWAT attack? Team. You can't do more than a break-in. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Yeah, everyone's a bit sketchy about it. The attack. 
So basically some paramilitaries broke in and tried to kill everyone. So we're gonna pursue that. And in the course, Jensen. Oh look, Final Fantasy Easter egg. In the course of that, Adam Jensen was mortally wounded and now has been brought back using augmentation. But with no arms. Apart from robot arms. Let's talk to Pritchard. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Son of a bitch. Your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. I have a health implant? Your retinal Ooh. display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. But they're taking hostages? Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Hey, Bob, what, what was that? If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one Indeed. who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. Dynacore's All the top private thing. security contractors were on my list. But Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel yeah, like continuing? Yeah. Take that. Point taken. So you get some extra X XP if you confront him and read books. It's not the book. So basically, Adam and Dr. Reed, or Megan, used to be an item. You and hey, your guy dude. too? I've been here two months. Hope I haven't tied myself to a sinking ship. Hey, we're gonna come out as a strong. Oh man, awesome. look at this. I didn't think we'd see you for another six months. No matter up, what dude? Seraph said. How's the um, crabs? Hey, Adam. Can't tell you how glad I am you're back. Pritchard's been Good trying to, be to order everyone around since you've been gone. A dick. I'm glad I don't have to work that close with him. Mm-hmm. Hey, boss. Good to have you back. Um, I don't want to rush you, but any idea when you might be hiring more staff? We've been putting in a lot of hours since, well, you know, we lost some good guys. Anyway, I might know someone when you're ready. Avery's report on my desk. Ooh, vending machine. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Isn't that that job? Do you know what's happening at the manufacturing plant? Some kind of breaking, I heard. And Some of our is. people are working in there. Last minute rush to deliver on a contract. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. I love the story in this game. It's probably one of the best stories I I in a game I've ever seen. That this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been um, Picus, which was mentioned before, is basically the news network of the world. Set in Montreal. Hmm. Where's this game made? Wink wink. Nudge nudge. That's a cool helicopter. 
Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger but that. Some ass. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Let's go do this. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. <laughs>